What's good, YouTube? It's your boy NSG Kai, and we back with another video. And tonight we finna react to four short parties. And what the title says: Three Cat Williams Horror Stories Animated. And I'm not gonna front, bro. Don't play on Cat Williams' name, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. If I see some shit that I don't like, bro, I'm going to address it. Simple as that, bro. I'm not playing. And by the way, how I got into watching this on um, this channel, uh, I got this from Corey Kenshin. Corey Kenshin used to watch this a lot. Just like I enjoyed it. Shout out to Queer Kitchen. I know it's my fault, but don't blame me. I'm a Ooh. chronic procrastinator. I always wait to write my jokes until the last minute. And this time, I mean that in the most literal sense. I'll oh. admit, this is not the first time that I found myself backstage, getting ready for a stand-up routine while still writing Why the jokes for my set. Like but that? this time, it's different. I've been running out of ideas for a long time, and things are getting desperate. I like to have a TV going while I'm writing so I can pick out good lines from performances by other comedians. Some people call it stealing jokes, but I'm not a fan of that terminology. I really like the jokes that Mark Cuban makes, but my favorite source of comedy right now is Cat Williams. I've been watching what he does in his movie roles, and I gotta say he's got wait, real talent, wait, wait, wait. but hands down... Wait. Is they trying to let us know that he be stealing Cat Williams like jokes? They don't say true story out there. He shines the most in his stand-up routines. I just love his energy. I'm more of a laid-back personality myself, but that's part of what I do to adapt their material into something new. Truth be told, I do feel guilty about taking so much from these other guys, but I'm only doing it because I don't think anyone will notice. I mean, Cat Williams may be hilarious, but I honestly don't think he's that big of a name. I doubt anyone will make the connection, let alone do I think it'll get back to Cat Williams himself. Say what you will about my originality, but you have to admit I'm the fastest in the game. I've learned how to improvise from my tenure on Family Feud. This set only took 20 minutes to write, and I still had one minute to spare. I get a little help from other professionals, too. Where? You're up. Get out there. Where's Cat William? Where he at? Uh, I, I just... It's time for the big show. All right, I'm coming out, and thanks for all the lines. And I ain't talking nose candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just get a move on, Baldy. Scratch that. that I was great. right on time. With nah. one last look at my material, I was on my way to the big leagues. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time you've all been waiting for. Let's get ready to chuckle. You know him. You love him. It's Steve Harvey. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, everybody. Let me ask you, Yo. how are we all doing tonight? This animation is tough. It's tough. That's what I like to hear. All right, very nice. So Let me get a good look at all you beautiful people for a second. I don't know if you know this, but when Wait. I perform, I like to get a... No, 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 no. I don't see not one black person in that crowd. Y'all keep it a step. Where y'all see a black person at? I don't see not one black person. Sense of who I'm performing in front of. Cat oh. Williams! What is he doing here? Uh. <laughs> ah, yeah, there you go. Excuse I'll me. I see one black person. I must have ate something. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> his forehead you know, like the that. thing about America today. Uh, about being like a that, black bro. man in America. See, when you're a black man in America, you, you, you gotta be hard. 
that's just how it is. You gotta be hard. Don't, be scared, but don't we all know somebody who's just hard all the time? <laughs> <clears throat> Mm, I mean, watching you, you like gotta a enjoy hard. your life. We all know somebody who's hard, even at seven in the morning. Like, come on, are you angry at breakfast? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stay away from me! You stole my joke, Mr. Potato Head! This is what you're gonna get! <sighs> Dang! Dang! See, why were you that fast? Dang! Yo, he got some jets on him, bro. He got some jets. He ain't getting away from Cat William. Cat William really fast, IRL. <laughs> you're not getting away from me, Steve! Leave me alone or I'm calling the insurgents! <sighs> Oh. What a psycho. All I did was riff, man. Why are you so hard in the theater? Oh. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm gonna find you, Mr. Harvey. A pimp just wanna talk. Oh. My God, he's an animal. I'm never stealing his jokes again. How long am I gonna be stuck in here? Oh. Hello? Who else is in here? <gasps> Kevin Hart, what are you doing in here? And why are you wearing a dress? I was waiting for you, Steve. I Ooh. want you. What? I want... <laughs> bro. 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 It ain't nothing scary about this. This is like a daddy party right now. Oh, he told my son, I want to. Like, what's the... Dress. I was waiting for you, Steve. I want you. What? what? I want to kiss those thick, shiny lips. Bro. No way. No way. No way, bro. No way. While I rub the smooth, luscious, shiny head of my palms. What? Don't you want that, Steve? Don't you want to see what kind of body is underneath this dress? Come on. I want the family feud bonus round. <laughs> Get what? away from me, you freak. Don't That's touch me I'm again. Saying. You're disgusting. I can't believe I you agreed to put on a dress. And for what? A little money? No, Steve. I didn't do it for the money. I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused by that. Real confused. I thought it was supposed to be like a squabble type thing, but you got Kevin, Kevin Hart with a dress on? Talking about kissing him on his lips? What is going on? Oh, that's crazy, y'all. Why the hell do I have to go to school if my daddy is Cat Williams? I should have a private tutor, or at the very least be his private hairstylist when I'm older. Mm. Mm. Ah, daddy, what are you doing in the hallway? What the hell are you doing? Taking a shit for the sixth time again? No, daddy, it's time to go to school. Why are you dressed all fancy for? Are you gonna keep your employees in line again? That's none of your goddamn business. Now when you're old enough to understand the merchandise I got lined up in these streets to pay the goddamn bills, then maybe I'll tell you. I don't understand, Daddy. Are you deaf? Uh, okay, okay. That's what I thought. Now get in the bathroom and brush your teeth, Mr. Milk Breath. Okay, Daddy. Who called it Dad, Daddy? I was gonna brush my teeth until you told me to, like you'd even notice the difference. I know you're out of your mind, you crazy old man. Nah, he in there. I ain't never gonna end up like him. Never in my life. 
but that's why mom left him. Ain't no one trying to marry a five foot two grown ass man with a man weave that looked better than hers. He heard that. He heard that. Daddy! The house smells like pine cones again! What's going on? Should I call the cops? He heard that. He heard what you said. Every time the house smell like pine cones, Daddy be tripping. Can't get nothing from him no more. <laughs> I bet it ain't shit in there. I bet it ain't nothing at all. I bet you. Daddy! What's wrong with you? Why are you on the stove? It ain't nothing in there. I'm telling you. Nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Dang, Daddy tripping. <sighs> Guess I gotta take care of myself again. <sighs> He's really gone useless this time. Yep. Okay, let's see. No! No! Where'd they go? They're gone! <laughs> Daddy! What's wrong, little boy? Daddy, remember you, you put the go-go bumps on top of the fridge? Now, <laughs> now, now it's not even up there. Huh? Well, it sure ain't up there. It must have been those damn insurgents. <laughs> what? What's an insurgents, Daddy? Daddy gonna have to call the exterminator, cause some rats must have got up in it. Oh. What are you talking about, Daddy? We ain't got no rats. Well, now we do, don't we? Who else would've eaten up all the goddamn Cocoa Puffs in one night? Maybe you was out of bed last night and helped yourself when nobody was looking. Huh? Were ya? Did ya? No, I bet it was you. You ate all my Cocoa Puffs. You calling oh. me a thief? Yeah! I ain't no thief. I'm a pimp named Slickback. You're crazy, Daddy. Where did you go? Why are you on the love seat if you ain't in love? What are you talking about, Daddy? It's just a couch. I'm talking about stuff you're too dumb to notice. They don't teach you that in school, do they? No, it ain't called a couch. It's called a love seat. Now, are you in love? Uh, no. Then get up off my love seat. Daddy, I'm scared. What's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. I've been getting stronger every two weeks. I'm sparkling. They call me death. I, I don't want no trouble, Daddy. I just wanted my Cocoa Puffs. Oh, that's all you wanted, huh? Yeah, I swear. I won't talk back anymore. I'm just hungry, Daddy. Well, I know where your Cocoa Puffs are. You do? Yes, I do. You want to see? Yes. Oh. They're in. Here! Daddy! Daddy, why? Oh. Y'all doing Cat Williams dirty. Y'all doing them dirty for real, bro. Doing them dirty. I've always told it like it is, but I've always kept my mouth shut from running more than it should. I say what's on my mind, or I don't say anything. However, by the time I got in front of those cameras on Club Shay Shay, when I knew the whole world was watching, I decided I'd had enough of not saying what needed to be said. I was tired of the world. I was sick of all the cheap comedians stealing my jokes, the higher-ups using money to coax people into humiliating themselves, and the whole culture for glorifying the people who sell their souls for fame and fortune. Some kind of switch inside me got flipped, and I opened up the floodgates about everything I know. So Kat, do you believe the Illuminati is real? Are you deaf? Yes, I think the Illuminati is real. It's most certainly a real organization, and I don't lie, so you know it's the truth. What kind of things that have happened could you point to that would make sense if they were real? They got Kevin Hart to wear the dress, didn't they? Dude probably has more yeah. dresses in his closet than my- Yeah, she knew where that dress in the first animation. Daughters and all of the female section at Costco combined. <laughs> I know a lot of people think I was just there to stir things up to stay relevant, but I didn't care about any of that. I wasn't there for laughs, although I know I'm still funny. I was up there to expose the truth. It wasn't just about the beef, but then again, 
There was a lot of that. And what about Steve Harvey? What about him? The fact that I killed his stand-up career by beating him so bad in a comedy battle? Then he took his big old bald Mr. Potato Head looking eye and shiny veneers to Family Feud until his toupee fell off? And now the only funny thing he can say are the jokes that he stole from me? What? That's crazy. Recipes. That's crazy. I hope they ain't really happening. Recipes that are more than their they ain't really happen. What else is there to say? God damn it! <laughs> After almost three hours of filming, we finally called it a wrap. I'd had more to drink than I do on a usual night, so I didn't want to hang around very long before getting to my home. I left Shannon's studio and stepped outside of his house to wait for my ride to pull up. Shannon's place was huge and way out in the middle of the woods, and by the time I got out it was dark. So naturally, I was a little spooked by the remoteness. Unfortunately, I immediately noticed something was off when the limo pulled up. It wasn't my limo. An entire group of men in matching suits and masks got out and stared me down like a firing squad. I turned right around and started banging on the door, screaming for Shannon to let me back in. Shannon, let me in! I'm messed up bad, man! Open the goddamn door now! Shannon! I thought those guys were going to drag me into the trunk of that limo and drive it off a cliff, but they just stared at me until I finally broke down the door. And what I saw next gave me the utter chills. I saw that they had already gotten to him too. Two men in the same Damn. outfits were standing over him, tied up on the floor with duct tape over his mouth to keep him quiet. I looked back outside, and the other ones were starting to close in on me. I made a last ditch effort to escape and bolted into the woods. I kept running deeper and deeper, freaked out of my mind. The longer I ran, the darker the woods became. Then, out of nowhere, I saw a light, like a campfire. I ran toward it, but what I saw made me leap into a bush and hide. It wasn't a group of campers. It was more of those suited masked men and women in the Illuminati gathered in a meeting. Oh. Everyone was dressed in all their fancy clothes and wearing the same masks, except for a man who stood over them all on a stage. He was wearing a black cloak like the Grim Reaper. Everyone was watching and listening to him preach. We all must come together and find the man who has been exposing our secrets. And then we must make him pay with his blood. We must find Cat Williams. Ah! I screwed up again. They all got quiet and looked at me. Then all at once they started chasing me. I ran away with the whole mob coming after me. I tried to put everything I had into sprinting as fast as I could. But instead, I tripped. Kill me! Have mercy! Ah! Cat! Cat! Hey, Cat! You good? Huh? <laughs> oh, man. That cognac must be hitting you, huh? Not as hard as when I take a hit off my dealer's dip. One little puff and then I can't hear shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Are you sure you still want me to upload this? You know, you might get an angry mob and a limo coming after you, right? Or maybe they'll turn your fans against you. I could take you down. No more women, no more groupies. None of them will want you anymore. What women, sir? These are hoes. I'm a pimp named Slickback. Say it with me now. Um... So the video was alright. But a lot of fruity pebble stuff going on. A lot of fruit, fruit cup slash diddler stuff going on. But I don't got much else to say. But make sure y'all like and subscribe. Get this video to um 20 likes or 15 likes. And um, share this video. Share this video with your family. And, um, yeah. Have a good night. It's crazy, real crazy.